hit break that plateau, then you have the confidence to do more. Even if you don't ever do more, you're going to always have the confidence. But it's always that first time that you put three three reds on there and a green. Or, you know, with me, it's like 440 was like huge. Just like, like I know I could fucking do it, but just like mentally, it was like a block. Oh, yeah. Fuck. It was a block. Yeah. And after I did it the first time, after that, I, when I actually made it, then I wasn't afraid to get under it again. Mm-hmm. And then I, you know, progressed up to almost 460. Like, I think 457 was my best, right? There's a reason my coaches program, you know, 100-plus percentage on your pulls yeah. is so that you shake hands with that bar. You yeah. Know? And pulling under is a different one. Like, you're, you're, weightlifting is a very unique thing where, you know, there is all the hypertrophy drivers as well, but you yeah. also have to deal with the confidence and the skill yeah. to be in the right positions at the right yeah. time to execute. And that's one thing I like about when I train um, my elite guys or college guys or high school guys that really buy into it who are more sports performance and not weightlifters um, doing some sort of, you know, safer bench, for instance, like a board press, a floor press, something the way that you can overload them. Mm-hmm. It's the, so I have a couple guys coming in now who, I mean, one, they bench two bench 315, one bench is 330. It's like, all right, well, we're going to get the 330 guy close to 400 by season. We're going to get you two that are doing 315 to 365 by se- by summer, like by, by season before summer ball, before August starts, before camp starts. But they, if you don't ever put anything in your hands that mm-hmm. feel like that, you're not going to have the confidence. So, like, you know, we did some high board presses. They did, like, one did – 365 one did he missed three 380 i think but it was a good miss and the other one you know did like 330 or 340 it's the most weight they've ever held in their hands mm-hmm. so their nervous system's used to that and another power lifter i have who is a straight power lifter who has a couple I'm not quite sure if aaron has um national titles is this the guy that's I'm, a state champ? Yeah, I know he has. He's a state champ. I know he has Mississippi records. He might have national records. I know he has a national title as a junior, I believe. But I don't know if he has. It's like the, 80, 81 kilo? No, no, no. This is a big guy. Is he, he's a heavyweight. But I don't know. But anyways, he, he's really strong. He has records either state or nationally, right? But, like, his goal is, like, we want to get him as close to 500 pounds before he's out of the junior class or whatever, right? I think he has like another year or two before that, before he has to compete as a true senior. Um, or maybe it's past that. Or he wants to get to 500 pounds, vice versa, whatever whatever the case may be. So we've been working on not any true benching, not any true squatting, but some sort of variation for save his shoulders and stuff. A lot of uh, board, uh, like, you know, the power, the block. Mm-hmm. So we have like a lead FTS one, which is like a two-inch block once it compresses on him. So we've been doing We did a variation of that for a week, and then we kept adding stuff. And then last week, we had that with weight releasers. And I said, I need at least 500 pounds. On the descent. On the descent. Minimum 500 pounds. Like, you need to feel that because you need to feel your bones wanting to collapse. You need to feel that because, like, if you never have felt that in the meat, like, you unrack that, like, you're going to be fucking shook. But if you feel it beforehand, then it's like, okay, it's whatever. So with him, I think his top set was four. 60-ish on the bar, but then he had over 100 and some pounds. It was like 565, 570 mm-hmm. on the descent. And, like, you could see it coming down. I'll post a video of it here. But like, you could see it coming down, and, like, he said he could feel his bones, like, crushing and shaking, but he, it exploded up off of his chest, right? So he has the confidence now to, like, you know what? When we go to meet, like, four, whatever, it was 475, 465, like, that should be your second attempt. Like, you smoked it. Like, mm-hmm. there's no question. Like, mm-hmm. you have the confidence to do that. 